I, I think my father went through through a, a very trying, trying years, and the fact that he put all of us through high school was he couldn't be commend, commended for that. And, and he developed a, a successful egg business. And yes, he developed a, a, a very business was successful too. He, the, the, he built a, um, a what they call a, a creamery house where he, we kept the milk and uh, uh, and the cream and had cement floors. And to this day, it's still the only structure that is standing. It's still there on the soil farm. Mm. And uh, um, so and then when he lost all of that, the farm, and in my heart, I think it was the same Grenland that uh, was responsible for operating on my brother's ears for the mastoid. He, uh, he this is how I understand it from Anal. Anal wouldn't have anything to do with Slim because uh, he, uh, he said it was Hilda that put a claim in for her back salary many years after, or years after uh, Dad couldn't uh, afford to pay her and he told her to go and she kept staying there because Slim wanted her to stay. And even when she left, Slim would come back. And so... Uh, that and the depression combined is why we lost our farm. But the fact that uh, he started this hatchery... It was a bank foreclosure that you lost the farm? I, I think it was. We, I can remember the day of the auction with all those cows uh, being auctioned off. Sara, Puniki, uh, uh, one tit, and uh, that was the one that everybody, all of us would rather milk. It was... One did. Yeah, one big one. Uh, oh, and in fact, uh, he was one of the first ones that that had a milking machine. So then you, uh, that's when we had that new uh, um, um, house uh, 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 built for the for the keep the milk and all cool. And uh, so, of course, you had to strip strip the cows after that because. It, it didn't do the whole process. I mean, it, all the milk that was in, We had uh, thresher crews would come during that harvest time. And the neighbors, all would, men would come over and help. In fact, Mrs. Snell would come and help me. And uh, I was a... I'm talking about the year I stayed home from high school. And uh, uh, nobody was, or none of the men were around to kill the roosters, and so I had to go in the woodshed and take the axe and attempt killing them uh, myself. And one rooster I just got it his as far as his comb, and he got away from me. And I had to catch him and and, and finish the job. And, after that, I decided I wasn't going to do that anymore. That was not supposed to be my job to kill the. Who did, who did you give that job to? Oh, I had to, them do it the day before. Oh. But of course, your threshing is uh, it lasts just one day, oh. so uh, that was over with. But uh, we used to go out in the, in shocks. These uh, wheat, put them in into into shocks into piles. Mm -hmm. And um, so we were busy all year round, and uh, and prune picking time. Oh dear, you'd shake the tree and you'd pick all those prunes, and and uh, I think that, and then uh, um, planting the potatoes, and then harvesting the potatoes. And I think we have a picture of us uh, in the potato fields, uh, showing us how young we are.